Hi everyone, just wanted to do a little quick update today. Um, oh, there's a neighbor cutting his grass. Sorry about the noise. But we're gonna move into the garage right away anyway. Um, just wanted to talk about the uh, inverters that I bought a while back. And if you saw my other video, that was sort of a more formal one. Sort of what I was planning to do with it and how it kind of works. But anyways, uh, what I've done since then, I put some panels up on my roof here. They're just small 40-watt uh, panels. There's two of them. They're angled towards the sun. Uh, they're facing sort of uh, southeast and southwest. And of course, angled up towards the sun, like I said. So let's move into the garage. Kind of show you what I've done here and what I've been doing. So basically, uh, that's the inverter there, which you would have seen in the other video. The other video, I don't know if it showed up, but this is the switch. It has a lot of cord. Sort of remotely, you can turn the inverter on and off. Um, so I put those on the roof, and looking way up there at the roof, I just uh, drilled a hole and put the wiring in through. There's two wires there because there's two panels and just ran those down. I I mean, I, nothing's looking really nice and clean and fancy, but you know, it works. So anyways, this is that remote switch, like I said, that would come in handy. Um, since I've put the panels on the roof, I've had no issues with just leaving the inverter on all the time. Uh, the lowest voltage it goes down to is about 12.2 and that's at night. Um, I'm have a power bar hooked up to it uh, right now I'm testing which I have been for the past many days I have my garage door opener plugged into it um, I charge all my devices right now I, I have my iPad plugged in there I have a speaker Bluetooth speaker plugged in um, my phone I have some radios I also use it to uh, charge my big battery for my uh, weed whacker oh what else um oh my drill I've charged that up and it, I mean all in all it's it's working fine and the end goal is just on the other side of this wall and then straight down in my basement is uh, my uh, battery backup sump pump now there's a battery on there of course right now but it's getting old but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run wires down to that so this battery will also run my sump back up and you know it's in handy view I can tell if it's charged up all the time and ready to go uh, you don't want to flood a basement I know what that's about so that's why I have a battery backup sump pump but yeah I'll get that wired up so all in all I'm I mean doing this kind of thing it is expensive it's not cheap you're not going to save any money, like, you know, out of your pocket, you're not going to see, you know, all saving all this money charged and stuff and this and that, but I think my biggest thing was is that I can operate my garage door opener, which you can manually open a garage door, but when the power goes out, now at least I can open the door and plus have the light so I can hook up my generator. I mentioned that in the other video. And just the fact that you have a battery hooked up to a battery operated sump pump, um, again, if your basement floods, it doesn't matter with the insurance. Sure, they're going to come and help you out, but you're going to lose a bunch of stuff that you never wanted to lose. It's not worth it. Um, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, if I get something else interesting coming up, I'll uh, do another, another uh, video log here. Have a great day, everyone.